minute, this isn't Splash Mountain. No, we're not going to Splash Mountain. I want you to meet Dr. Halpern. He's Stan's psychiatrist. This is Petrillo. I've heard a lot about you. Lies, all lies. <laughs> yes, I wanted a boy, but slowly I learned to accept her. I just met her. It was nice to meet you. Oops. Please, sit down. Ma, as you know, Stan's been having difficulty making it on his own. Dr. Halpern believes that you can help him in his struggle to separate from me. Sure I can. Stay away from my daughter, or I'll have your legs broken. Ma, will you try to be serious? I mean, where are you going to get the $400? Just a rough guess. Sophia, without going into a lot of psychological detail, I believe Stan's clinging to Dorothy is really a suppressed longing for his mother's love. Now, my theory is that subconsciously, he's transferred that longing to you. And if you're wrong? I ordered parking guys around to drinks. Look, Ma, tell Stan you love him. He'll be out of our lives forever. You don't even love him. How am I supposed to? I'll give you a thousand dollars. Sonny boy! That, that's, that's enough, the both of you. This isn't the way it's supposed to be. If it isn't real, what does it mean? Let's just forget it. What, you're surprised? I'm supposed to love you? Oh, sure, Stan. I love you. I love you for knocking up my daughter when she was 17 years old. For sponging off Sal and me for eight years. For cheating on Dorothy left, right, and sideways. Oh, yeah. I love you. Sophia, listen. I know I always haven't been the best son-in-law, but I've got other memories, good memories. The four of us watching TV on that ugly green sofa Sal bought from his boss. Summer weekends on the Jersey Shore. It hasn't been all bad. Dorothy, help me out here. Dorothy? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Look, if I have hurt somebody, I am sorry. But you should know I've hurt myself worse. Sophia, I did the best I could. I suppose you did. Can't you find it any place in your heart to forgive me? Any place in your heart when you love me? Have you loved me ever? There was that one morning at St. Francis Hospital. You and me peeking through the maternity window the first time they wheeled Dorothy and little Michael out. There was a whole happy future in your smile. I suppose I did. Suppose I do. I do love you, Stan. I love you, Ma. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. But I want you to understand this is just the first step. <laughs> Doctor, you are a genius. I feel great. Let's go to dinner and celebrate. Uh, how does Chinese food sound? I love Chinese food. Well, why not? A celebratory dinner to bury the hatchet. Who invited you? 